sit back, relax, grab a cold beverage, and get ready for something you've never seen before. Pit lights for scooters, $2,500 on the line. Ah, oh, Corey, red lights. It's over. There will be shenanigans and some of the greatest trash talk of all time. It's the Pit Bike Nationals, 116 scooters, dirt bikes, and $2,300 to win. Who's going home with all the money? Wait a minute, is it the legendary Jesse James? Are you really the legendary Jesse James? Sometimes, only in my own mind. What do you got on your hat? Cycle drag. All right, well, what do you do when your drag race rains out early in the morning, but then the weatherman totally misses it? It stays dry all day, but you don't have a paramedic, so you can't race. The SDBA decided to go ahead with the Pit Bike Nationals, and what a rousing success. A $20 buy-in, 116 entries. They're paying out $2,300 to the winner. This is hefty. In fact, Aside from 460, it's going to be the biggest payout of the weekend. You ready to win the Pit Bike Nationals? I'm just holding this for my friend. Brian Dale of the SDBA. Here we go. We didn't get any racing in today, but then here comes this Pit Bike race. A hundred, over a hundred entries? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Maybe we should just have Pit Bike races. Where'd you guys come up with this idea? something we could do we don't need the paramedics here we don't need track prep you know we had about a we had a really really wet morning this morning we the rain missed us uh other than last night and this morning you know and we just uh, we had to make a call for the day because you got workers and stuff you gotta let them know hey are you working or are you not so we made a call early when there was you know water everywhere and we said we're not gonna race today and everybody's kind of looking for something to do so we got with the track owners and they said well we can do a pit bike race and um we decided to do that and it ended up being a big show. Pretty it's, cool. Uh, it's actually pretty fun. $2,300, that's a serious pot for any form of racing. That's a pretty big pot, yeah. yeah. It's just 20 bucks an entry. I think they allowed they allowed up to four entries <laughs> per vehicle. Um, most people got one or two, but uh, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good 100, 100 bikes, 100 pit bikes. And guys, we begin with a 32-time champion, Dustin Lee, and an NHRA national champion, John Spooky Markham. The Pit Bike Nationals are on. Green lights were away. It's a fight for the finish, the 330 mark. Look at this neck and neck. Markham looking over. Lee looking over. This one's going to be close. <laughs> Spooky put Dustin Lee on the trailer. Did you guys hear that skid down there? My goodness. Wow, what a skid. Look at this matchup. And it's not just pit bikes, it's golf carts and four-wheelers too. The golf cart away with the green light, they had one time trial. It's all about running your number without going under. First one to the finish line wins, but you can't red light. Long delay red light, the golf cart's gonna win. We got a golf cart versus pit bike. This gentleman's enjoying a cold beverage while he goes down the track. Well, it's five o'clock somewhere. I'm not so sure that meshes with NHRA or IHRA regulations. Anyhow, I digress. Oh, we got a green light. The man with the Michelob Ultra is going on. It's one big single elimination tournament with a round of five backs and just stay away from that red light. It won't help. Wait, you're allowed to go two at a time. Joe Deck from the NHDRO is going to be a spotter. Joe, you got an important job over here. I'm navigator, buddy. Wow. Hold on, man. My dial in ain't up yet. There okay. It is. I would jump on, but I'll screw up your dial. Deck and his teammate have multiple entries in this race, trying to get the first one through. Now, Joe Deck, the notorious top gas racer out of the Midwest, he's a big smack talker, a big trash talker, and he's going to do his thing down there and try to create a big distraction. They're talking trash. They're talking smack. Will it work? Top end, win late, coming on right lane. And check this out, guys. Uh, you can have two entries, three entries. Spooky Markham's got four entries in this race. It could be a national championship race or a game of tic-tac-toe in the pits. You better believe John Spooky Markham is a gamer. Spooky in deep. All deep staging helped his reaction time. Can Spooky make up the deficit? He's got a lot of Georgia real estate to cover. Here comes Spooky Markham judging that strike. Far end breaks coming on. Spooky breaks out. 
Next bear coming up. Oh, another red light. We're whittling them down. We've even got bicycles in this. Oh, this bold and courageous lady on the e-bike. She's actually a junior dragster racer. She is the daughter of the track owner. She's tough. Here comes this pit bike trying to the run e her down. Another big deficit. They're trying to get to the 330 mark first top end breakout. All right, we're having a conversation up here and we're wondering how long before somebody starts to push the limits. You know, drag racers love to push the limits of the rule book. I think somebody's up there saying, this is my Hayabusa pit bike. This is my ZX14 pit bike. When the stakes are this high, they're gonna start bringing out the big bikes. Luckily, we're gonna police that. All right, we'll see if Corey Lee fares any better. He goes in deep. He goes in deep, ladies and gentlemen. over you know you think these aren't the quickest reacting vehicles in the world but we're seeing a lot of red lights aren't we all right here we go doesn't get more inside than this you're just seconds away from taking the tree could you please introduce yourself to the camera i'm marcus moore 865 racing where are you from i am from suburban tennessee excellent now you entered your golf cart four times four times four times why yeah. your golf cart not a pit bike uh, Golf cart got us around more. It's okay. To get everybody around. So, yeah. You feel like you got a good handle on the tree here? Oh yeah. Oh five first round. Oh five. Thirteen fifteen. I just did it again. So I'm gonna do it again. And take the win. Well, I see you got a pit bike coming up alongside you. So we wish you the best of luck here. Right, thank you. Good luck. I know it's humorous. I know it's tongue in cheek. But don't forget, guys. Twenty three hundred dollars plus a two hundred dollar bonus from Cycle Track. It's a total of twenty five hundred dollars. The competition is fierce. We got ourselves one heck of a race here at the top end. Wind light coming on, golf cart. He's blowing the horn down there. This golf cart seemed to have a bit of an advantage. He's nailing the lights. He's still blowing the horn. He's celebrating. Could be his lucky night, $2,300 worth. We're gonna take this all the way to our final. Give it a share and let me know in the comments what golf cart or pit bike would you choose to race and why? Who's taking it all? Uh, I don't know. It's a big pot there, Jack. Big pot's three grand. What would you do with that much money? Well, I'd probably give two to my dad and take my one and uh, probably go buy me a, a new junior. New junior, good yeah. idea, okay, good sweet. idea. Good idea, or maybe one of these. Good luck, guys, good luck. And how about this, guys? We've even got a custom stretched pit bike. I knew it wouldn't be long before somebody pulled out all the stops. What's your name? My name is Chauncey McKibben. And where are you from? I'm from Covington, Georgia. Tell me about this thing. Well, I really can't tell you too much about it because it's the legendary Don Chavos. This is Don Chavos' scooter. He let me borrow it for this good $3,500 race we in. So this is like the grudge game. You really can't talk about stuff, huh? Yeah, hey, I wish I knew a little bit about it. I'll tell you. <laughs> good luck to you. Hey, thank you. A little bit of something for everyone, and I do mean everyone. Just when you thought you saw it all, we have a dog participating. Is this dog going to be your key to victory? Hell yeah. There we go. I read lit because he wasn't riding shotgun with me, baby. Uh, what's the dog's name? Buell. All right, good luck, guys. All right, man. Go get him. Let's see what he can do. I don't know about you, but I think this is going to be a doggone good race. Green light. Is the dog going to win? We've got a dog in this race, ladies and gentlemen. Far end. Oh, the dog is out. Left lane. That, my friend, is a trailer. You're set up to cook. Nice job. Yeah. That's pretty cool. You built that all yourself? Yes, I did. Very cool. Thank you, SDBA Tech, for the snack. Hey, who wrote that? All right, guys, we're down to eight. The action's heating up. We got all kind of shenanigans going on at the finish line. How about I walk down there and let you see some of this? And there's Tennessee's finest. And guys, I gotta say, it's close to midnight. This reminds me of bracket racing. We're still waiting on racers back to the lanes. I'm like, this should be the quickest race to run in the history of motorcycle drag racing. If you're not back in two minutes, it's not like you gotta gas it up and fill up your air shifter. I don't know what they're doing back there in the pits, but this much money on the line, they're taking, they're taking a long time to get back. It's John Spooky Markham alongside Team Deck on the golf cart. Deck and team have been succeeding with some ferocious trash talk, and they're at it again, trying to create the distraction. Deck hanging off the golf cart. Oh, 
what a finish, it worked. Deck wins. <laughs> That's how close it was at the stripe. Let's listen in to the ultimate antagonizer, Joe Deck. and smack the whole way down. They two on one them. Let's take another look. Deck taunting John Markham, telling him, chop that throttle, park it, shut it off. Markham trying to stay in the zone. He takes a peek back. Markham out in front, and look at this finish. Markham takes the stripe, but he breaks out the trash talk by Joe Deck, leads this team to victory. The golf cart gets the win. My goodness, these guys going to the next round. Another great race. The golf cart's starting to gain some momentum. Oh, Corey Lee again. Corey Lee, tough one. Again. Bob Burke, far lane. He's been using his horn as a distraction. And it works. Burke takes the win. Look at this delay. Here comes the scooter trying to catch this golf cart. Oh, the right lane. The golf cart wins with an ET of 16.25 to the 3.30. He's going to the final four. Will it be a golf cart? Will it be a pit bike? This is getting wild. All right, guys, we're down to the final four golf carts. Three golf carts, one pit bike. What's your name, sir? Charles Gasway. You feel like you got this? I hope. You know, you're really hitting your marks. And then we got these guys. You know, it's better than the dream team, none. baby. I gotta say, the Joe Deck heckling the whole way down the track is really working out. <laughs> Bob Burt in the house. Uh oh, Corey Lee rushed him to the line a little bit. Could be a psych out tactic. Oh, Corey goes red. And now our last remaining scooter. Can he withstand the trash talk by Joe Deck? Hey, Joe's a little quiet all of a sudden. Way quiet. Way quiet. Joe's letting his driver concentrate. Oh, we've got a beeping psych out tactic. Nobody Float wants again. the stage. Blow it again. Blow it again. We could run out of gas, guys. We got a staging goal. Finally left lanes in. Green as well. A trip to the final at stake. This will be a fight to the finish. Look at Deck talking smack, trying to get the distraction to work in his favor. Oh man, the golf cart almost crashes. Oh, he took him up. We got to take another look at this razor close finish. Joe Deck heckling, taunting. The golf cart locks him up and nearly loses control and breaks out, goes under. Right How about it? Been How about it? The tuning. The tuning. Right. tuning. Guys, we gotta we get thought, that slider cool for next the, round. We thought the golf carts were gonna sweep. No, the nope, pit bike scooter. says we're Hold in on. here. Hold wow, on, congratulations. congratulations. $2,300 on the line. What was the light? What was yeah. the light? Uh, my, five, my 89 light to his 30. Oh, wow. <laughs> Attaboy, Bob. Oh, they broke out Attaboy. big time. Yeah, they were way on the Bobby. <laughs> but the brakes was right. No, I got to ask, Sonny and Brian, is there any type of SDBA rule against too much smack talk? Joe Deck was talking a lot of smack down there. We're just having fun. Karma got him, though, right? Karma, Karma got him. Karma got him. Joe Deck, I mean, how were you I'd able like to... to... thank Sonny Vic for sponsoring me for this race tonight. <laughs> Excellent. I did. I, I helped him with his uh, with his entry fee. He, he, they didn't have a PayPal reader up there, and all he had was a debit card. And he's like, Sonny, can I borrow 20 Not true. He used my rent money to get in there tonight. <laughs> there you go. Well, you're set up now. Oh, no. Joe Deck looking for revenge. Oh, what sportsmanship. So so hard to ignore park it. Park it. Anyway. She just said, she, I don't know. He was like, oh, they had me covered. <laughs> I was like, yeah, the 30 yeah. start on me tonight, though. Seven years, something. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you're a true gentleman. After all that smack talk, you come over and shake the man's hand. Oh, like hey, it. that's what we do in racing, man. That's yeah. great. We love each and every one of these racers out here, man. We're all out here. To, we're a big family. We have big fun. Dang, when it rains, 
That's what we do. That's what we got to do. Have, we have fun. And guys, we're having an interesting conversation up here. We got the former national champion, John Spooky Markham. John, I was saying, as comical as this is, this is a good way to train. This is the same game, just slowed no down. No doubt. No doubt, yes. You can learn the strike, you know. You can learn the reaction, how to stage, get you a good routine down. Hey. You know, hey. yeah. This pit bike race, man, it, it's they sign me up every, every event, you know. A lot, lot less maintenance. That's right, a lot less maintenance. Yeah, we just won, uh, I think I won just won about 400 bucks. Can't you know? beat that. That's a good night of pit bike racing. Yeah, we, we had fun, you know. And, Appreciate Brian and and a sunny dinner for us. You know, the SUV eggs. We got rained out today, and they said, like, "Hey, yes, let's have a scooter race." And today we had uh, hundred something entries. Can we get a Bob Burt burnout? <laughs> Final round coming up, guys. Bob Burt taking on Charles on the golf cart. Bert's fired up. Wait a minute, do we have a new driver on the golf cart? Substitute driver. Are they allowed to make a driver change? Is that legal? It's legal. The driver is Charles' 18-year-old daughter. She's a junior dragster standout. Can she get it done here? Green light. Probably one of the biggest purses she's ever raced for, if not the biggest. Bob Burke trying to stay in the zone. Oh, we've got another fight to the finish. Burt, with so much of a deficit to make up. Ashley looking back. She's got him in her rear view. Break light for Burt. Win light, Ashley. Oh, my goodness. Congratulations. Charles. Charles, come here. Charles. Charles, come here. Congratulations. You guys did it. You, you made, that's your daughter. So what made you decide to put her in the driver's seat here we for the We doubled fight? it today. She went out the second round. So I got it here and I thought it would be best to let her finish it off. And Great how job. about it? Congratulations. <laughs> wow. Great Thank job, you. guys. I told you. I told you. You never know what you'll see on cycle track. And what a call by Charles. He had the hot hand, but he trusts his gut, puts his daughter in the seat, and she wins it. Well, how about that? Congratulations. Man, all that pressure on you, how'd you handle it in the final round? Uh, I don't know. I just went for it like I always do. What was your light? Oh, I was late, but he was later. So. <laughs> how about that? What are you going to do with $2,300? Get some slicks for my junior dresser. <laughs> Good call, guys. Congratulations. Michael cool Drag, we rained out today, but we had a heck of a lot of fun. If you enjoyed this video, comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit it right in the middle. If you like this video, here's another one for you to check out. And you know, if there's anything fast motorcycles involved, we are in. Cycle Drag rolls on.